Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the WCE Interstate Open Weight Championship. The bell rings. Your official will be WC Commissioner Mark Becker. Introducing first the challenger from Racine, Wisconsin, weighing in at 292 pounds, the Drip King, Adonis Thelios. And his opponent from De Pere, Wisconsin, weighing in at 330 pounds. He has been watching Dead or Alive since 1990. He walks the King's Road. He is the WCE Interstate Open Weight Champion, the resident rock star, Sean Jobin. Let's go, Purple!
All right, folks, we are back, and it is time for your Fighter Fright 3 Chapter 2 WCE Interstate Openweight Championship match as the Drip King Adonis Filios challenges Sean Jovi and Adonis winning this right to challenge Sean Jovi yesterday at Fighter Fright 3 Chapter 1 in that three-way against Jay Stereo and Silverwolf. I am Debo Sampson and I'm joined by Lenny Sparkle. And Lenny, this is going to be an interesting match. Now, Sean Jovi and Adonis have already faced off in WC two previous times and oof! And both times, Jovi has basically had Adonis's number. That is true. And especially with this new, oh, big headbutt, this new King's Road centric Jovi, it's just going to be a lot more hard hitting. Oh, and Donna's going for a choke right away. Yep, and the referee needs to get in there. Yeah, Mark, referee, you know, Commissioner Mark Packer needs to get in there. And we're seeing a little bit more aggression from Adonis this time around than in our last few matches. Because Adonis got a lot of proof. He wants to show the world that he is not a fluke that everybody is saying that he is. He, he just wants to prove that he can get the job done. He can actually win a championship. It's been like a big MO for Adonis this whole, you know, his whole run in WC. I agree. Dude. His whole career, he's been chasing championship after championship, and he come just a dollar short. Yeah, a dollar, dollar short of a dollar ninety nine, and he, and this is where the other the, the Adonis has a lot to prove is he always comes close, but just not quite there. And a big cannonball in the corner to Sean Jovi. That was a big side cannonball. Oh yeah. And with Adonis, like, you know, came, came so close to beating Craven to, on numerous occasions, you know, and he just, always the bride's made, never the bride is the, the saying that they use. Oh, big, and Jovi's answering back with a chop after getting just pummeled in the corner. And, oh, Adonis back on top of him. Back on the tack. He's got a kind of a choke sleeper there, but Jovi's right in the rope. So, oh, oh, and he's raking his eyes on against the rope too. This is a different Adonis. Yeah, much more aggressive. I think he he's realized, you know, after the previous two encounters he's had with John Jovi, that he has to really, you know, bring it to Jovi to, in order to even get a. A chance at becoming an interstate champion here. Yeah, because Sean Jovi is a different Sean from all the years that he in his career. He has accomplished a lot. That is definitely for sure. And you know, Jovi, you know, biggest one of his career happened at Ratification when he won the interstate championship from James Marshall. But also, you got to remember that it did follow like a devastating loss at Yards Collide against Soldier GP. Which, you know, now because of it, you know, Sean Jovi is part of the foundation. And, you know, uh, you know, you know, he, you know, he had an impressive win yesterday against Prince Charles. He's still trying to avoid that momentum and be a fighting champion. Can he get the big man off his feet? Going for DOA and... No, no, backdrop! Saito suplex! That was a... That was big for Sean Jovi. Oh, that was definitely big. Lifting the man that size to get him up off his feet. Oh, and he's going up to the second rope. Could, could be looking for drop the base. Stupid! Yeah. yeah! And he dropped the base on him. Can this be it? Nope. Adonis is still alive and still getting up. And, and, you know, you, you notice a change in Sean Jovi, not just, you know, when he won the title, but I think, you know, the loss to At Yards Collide and being forced to join the foundation, I I think that, you know, the foundation literally has brought out something in Jovi that, you know, he might have needed a little bit more 
aggression in Sean Jovi as of late. You know, we've seen that a lot this season, especially after his feuds with, with you know, with James Marshall, but also with Nicholas Krenzen and, you know, after the whole incident with the Foundation as well. And big chop, big huge chop on Adonis there by Jovi. And Jovi going in. Pop rocks. And there's the soda. Yep, he nailed that one. This could be it. Sean go for the cover. Sean, no, get away from the rope. Nope. Sean. Nope. Going for a headlock. Oh, he's going for a sleeper hold to get him. No, almost like a bulldog choke. Come on. But he doesn't have the arm quite where you want to have it. He's, you know, he's got it. He's got to get that arm slipped just a little bit under, you know, just a little bit closer to the chin to, in order to get the karate there. But no. Oh, Adonis is going for the eyes. Adonis. That is very unlike him. This is a different Adonis. Yeah. This is definitely different from... Oh no, and now Donis is choking him. What the hell has gotten into Donis Filios? It's all the all the fair opportunities that he has had. It's built up aggression that he is unleashing. That I believe that's what is Adonis is doing. It's all this built up aggression of the constant opportunities that he has had. Think about all the people he has faced. Yeah, you're right. Like, look at the season. Like, alone, Adonis has had at least three championship ma matches, including this one, because you know he challenged Craven Rage at at Ring of Destruction in the Holds Bar match. He challenged Nicholas Krenzen for the RCW World Underground Championship at Showdown in the Yard, probably one of his best showings. And now he's, you know, this is kind of put up or shut up time for Adonis. Yep. So you can't really blame him for being more aggressive because, you know, he's had all these opportunities and you, you know, it's very, very seldom that you can get these opportunities again. Oh, a big kick to the back of Jovi's head while he's draped across the rope there. Oh, and now he's choking him some more. But Sean Jovi is also no slouch in, in wrestling in general. Like, he's faced big men before. You know, jo you know Jovi, you know, we mentioned James Marshall. We mentioned the whole, you know, Foundation, Soldier GP, Omen Black. But you got to remember that, like, one of Sean Jovi's most storied rivalries back in the day was against a man by the name of King B.W. That is true. That is absolutely true. So Sean Jovi knows how to face people. He knows what to do. He knows what to do. Yes, big, big guys like King BW, like Adonis, like James Marshall, like a happy psycho. And Jovi. Oh, double leg takedown. And now he's got him in the drop zone. He's, he's going for his famous. He's, is he going to go for it? Senton! Connected. And Jovi has a beautiful running Senton. Yes, he and Don is kicked out at two. And I think what makes Sean Jovi such a great champion is his ability to adapt to his opponents. But not just that, is Sean Jovi does things a man his size should not be able to do a lot of the time. And big shoulder tackle in the corner as as Adonis just getting the advantage back on Sean Jovi. And oh, he just ripped at his nose. But Jovi. You play my eyes? Huh? Oh, Jovi's not taking that lightly. Here come the fire of Sean Jovi. What is he going to do here? Oh! Got caught with a spear by Adonis. Went for a big splash. And the veteran Sean Jovi rolling out the ring to, to catch his breath. Because that was a, a 
big, massive spear. That is right, and you got to remember, folks, that this this championship has a champion's advantage, as of we're speaking right now, because the only way you can win the title is by pinfall or submission, and and you know a countout doesn't help Don's at all, but it does help Sean Jovi give it get a chance to just recover here. But, you know, I don't think Sean is going to just keep his title on here. Sean is a fighter no, champion. He's no, going to he, get up to fight. Yeah, Sean's, Sean Jovi is not going to just accept you know a count-out loss and be like, I'm going to retain. No, he's going to get up and fight. And Adonis, uh-oh, what is he doing? He's pulling Sean Jovi up. But Jovi fighting back. And hot shot across the ropes. Oh! But Don is fighting back too. And they're fighting. They're both fighting. And Jovi just shoves Adonis off and And now Adonis. Drop that, let's go. Oh, big land by Adonis. No, a big chop by Jovi. And big chops back. By Adonis, but Jovi's not even getting faced. Yeah, Big headbutt. I think Jovi's getting mad. He's getting angry. That's what he is. Uh, Jovi is loving this. And he's going to shout. He's wanting to come in at him. And Jovi got him down in the corner after that big splash. And, what is, and Jovi could be looking for it. Cannonball cook. And he almost went over the ropes on that one. <laughs> that was a big cannonball. And that took out both Sean and Adonis. Yeah, that took everything out of it. Sean, Jovi, and, and Adonis just all 330 pounds just landing on him. Three, squishing him in the corner there. Somebody four, need to get to their feet here. Go, yeah, referee's going. He's at five. At six. Seven. The fans really getting behind Sean Jovi here. Yeah. Oh, big form by Jovi. Form by. Oh, another form. Big, big headbutt by Adonis. Oh, big headbutt by Jovi. He caught him good with that headbutt. Yeah, he just full floor. So, now that's about a, you know, say about 330 pounds just throwing a big brick of a head at you. And wait, what's he going for? Big Larry. Big ripcord Larry and by Sean Jovi. And he kicks out. Adonis just getting, barely getting the shoulder up after that big purple rainmaker of Valerian. I don't know how much Adonis can take, but Sean is bringing everything he got. Uh oh. He's trying to set up for his. Oh. Trying to set up for something. And now Sean, he's got a hook. Confirm. Better roses. Yep. I don't think he got all of it. But no, got, got enough of it, though. Got enough of it. And, that, and is, that is it. Sean Jovi retains the WCE Interstate Openweight Championship. And he will go into WCE Season 4 as your Interstate Openweight Champion. And this was such a wonderful match here, folks. Adonis... You know, he came up short again, but he doesn't have to really despair because he showed that he does have that potential in him. He just hasn't realized it yet. Maybe next season, Adonis will come back and he will come back much stronger, bigger, and to prove to everybody that he has what it takes to get the job done. That is right. Now Jovi looks forward to... You know, defending his championship in December at Mass Winter Clash. That way!
and we are still you know, learning more details on that but we do know that James Marshall himself has a rematch that he is definitely going to receive at some point and you know you got to look at you know any other possible challengers in the future be it Darkfire be it Crimson be it our current all out champion Craven Rage be it Kodak Kid you know whoever you know is willing to step up and walk the King's Road but congratulations champ and John Jovi is still your interstate champion.